It's Sunday the 23rd of September. Autumn colours and leaves falling off the trees. I see it very well, I just see it there. Carrots are coming on in the containers now. Thinned them out quite a few times and they're definitely getting there. It would be nice if they lasted till Christmas, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen. Manure. That's the compost that went in maybe winter last time. And now it seems very good indeed. Let's see if I can focus that. Just really friable. And it seems like quite good stuff. So, I mean, that was a full cube mounded up. And look how much comes out of it. Less than half. Well, hopefully it's good stuff. Uh, new fresh stuff, we got it yesterday. And you can see more of it lying up there, instead of the gate. It's a big pile of manure. And it's horse stuff, it does have wood shavings in it, but I don't know if it affects the composition of the nutrients. Or even the amount of the nu nutrients, but uh, we'll see. I'm hoping if we turn it often enough, maybe I'd be cashy that we can compost it even with wood shavings fairly quick and even if we can't compost the wood shavings out of it hopefully it doesn't cause too many problems uh, We put the old scaffolding battens up there just to protect the fence Let's try to see if I can get away with the light There we go uh, Put them up there and that's just to take the weight of the manure if we get enough of it hopefully Rhubarb there, coming on good. The raspberries too, not many raspberries off them though, but hopefully we'll have next year. The rhubarb seems to be getting stripped like so, and I think it's a magpie that's pecking away at it. The apple trees over there are doing, are doing quite well. That one there's a bit of a concern, there's no leaves or buds on like the lower halves of the main branches and I don't know why that is I read Tales of an English Orchard after watching Stephen Hayes Stephen Hayes's videos on YouTube that's obviously his book and uh, he said that often if it doesn't get enough light then the lower parts of the branches can have no buds, no fruit buds so I don't know if maybe like that's that's been in a nursery for too long and where, it, where we bought it they were kind of tightly packed in so maybe down low there wasn't getting enough light I'm not sure who knows check the plants which are still coming on quite well leeks are all in there try and get my back to the sun Turnips in there, leeks at the bottom, which were planted quite a long time ago and aren't doing particularly well. These ones are doing a lot better. You can see them in there definitely coming on. One of the varieties is blue, the blue de solace maybe, or blue something or other from the real seed company. And the others are muscle bra. The cabbages are also coming on well. Starting to heart up the kale. I picked some of that yesterday and the potatoes have pretty much had it. I'm just going to chop the leaves off and uh, chop the leaves off and I think if you leave them in the ground for a couple of weeks the skin's going to harden and they'll store for longer. But there's, sorry about the light, it's absolutely terrible. There's the manure, that's the fresh stuff that needs composted. The older stuff. Which the farmer said had been lying for quite a few years, so even though it's got wood shavings in it, it should be relatively well rotted. Nah, we're just not getting a light there. Nah, you can kind of see it there. Reasonable pile might do a couple of beds, but we'll see. I'll show what's going on at the other garden, which isn't much. 
I guess it's getting later in the year. Monday 24th September, rhubarb's there. It's all came on quite well, I'm quite pleased with it. We've not taken much of it, trying to let it get established. It is getting pecked, but it's being magpies. Uh, string is tied up again, but that's just to hold the raspberries up. Didn't have too much off them either, but gathered all that manure yesterday or the day before, and it's quite a bit, I suppose, bigger than a meter by a meter. The cubes, uh, but there's wood shavings in it. Just hopefully it compost quick enough. That's all the dried off onion shavings. Put the boards up so if we get more manure, we can stack it up. Carrots in the containers are coming on, and the apples, there wasn't many on it, but the ones that were on it, took them off, made a pie with it, hopefully there'll be more on it next year. Uh, I did, is it scrump, I did scrump some apples from a, from a couple of trees just roadside, and I'm going to use them for a... Uh, Trying to make apple jelly. You see the plants in there, the kale, the stumpies, the leeks, the big cabbages, big bed of leeks there. All coming on. Quick look at the potatoes, we cut the shaws off, leave them in the ground for two weeks, and I think I'm hoping that that toughens up the skins and means they'll store a bit longer. I'll show you the strung up onions in the garage. And the onions, some in there, some in there that need to be used quicker. Up in there, and a pile strung up there, and a pile strung up there.